Hey spuddies, Potato Big Whiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6 as Norway. Now I could grab myself the Terracotta Army over here in Mainz. Is this the right place to build it? You know, I think it actually might be the right place to build the Terracotta Army. I'm going to pop it down right there. And what this will do is just give us a whole bunch of promotions on all of our units, which is really, really, really nice. I'm going to delay stirrups from one turn so that I can get this heavy chariot out so then I can upgrade the uh, heavy chariot into a knight. So I just have at least one knight. So I'll put a turn into military engineering for that. Pop a farm down here in Bergen, slowly developing this city. It's coming along nicely. Now I've got an entire military uh, needs to be handled here. I'm worried about stepping forward and pillaging this trade route. So I might just hold on for a turn and uh, just wait till it gets a little bit closer. Well, we may as well pillage this district again. That'll bring down the combat strength of the city. And perhaps it will be worth my while to pillage these sphinxes as well. We'll get in position to do a bit of pillaging on those because now we have a bunch of fate saved up that we might be able to buy something useful with. I guess I'll pop this crossbowman forward so that I can bring this crossbowman up a little bit as well. Okay, let's pillage more of these districts because I can't actually make use of these districts outside of getting pillage value out of them. So that's probably the best thing to do. Oh, shoot. All right, I'm going to head you over there and then shoot the city. I'm going to back you up to shoot the city as well. Then I'm going to pop the swordsman here to pillage that. I need a unit to be in range. Yeah, because I moved the swordsman, I'm no longer blocking the city from recovering health. But that's not a big deal. I'm going to hit the city to just get a bit more damage on it and I should be able to take it next turn. Now, the question is, who does this belong to? Okay, so the commercial hub belongs to Rakadet, so I shouldn't have any trouble pillaging that and getting the money out of it. Lighthouse up in Nidoros. Let's grab ourselves another trader. Again, we want roads, we want gold, we want all that wonderful stuff. Heavy chariot finished in Aachen, so I'm going to go ahead and now pick up stirrups, and I'll get this heavy chariot moving in the direction of the front line. I have almost completed the road all the way to the front line. I'm probably going to want to plug a trader into Memphis and trade with Bjarkoi to get another road to keep the reinforcement lines open. Or perhaps even I could put, oh, you know what? I'm going to put my next trader in Utica and maybe trade with Bjarkoi, Bergen, or something like that to get a road all the way over here so it's easier to invade a Carthage. All right, Aachen basically has everything it needs in terms of infrastructure. I just need to do a little bit more tile development, so I think it's worth it to pick up another builder. I'm trying to balance unit production with um, infrastructure production. I'm Right now, I'm pretty light on unit production. I'm working heavily on infrastructure, but I'll probably go back into unit production soon. Pop a mine down here in mine. That'll shave four turns off the Terracotta Army, and I'm hoping to do a similar thing over here on this Grassland Hill. All right, stirrups are online, so now we can get knights as well as civil service. I don't think there's anything in civil service we want to get. We could maybe squeak out an alliance with someone, but we're going for a domination game, so we don't need to. Right, I would like to harvest this. How much production would that be? I don't want to waste a production thing again. So I'm going to put this production into a catapult actually with this harvest. Well, no, if I harvest out the builder, then I can improve the city. Yeah, I'm, go I'm going to harvest out the builder, even if it means a slight overflow inefficiency, because then I can come over here, chop this forest and then pop a mine on that tile. All right, Stirps is finished. I would like to pick up castles. I was hoping to delay that though, until I picked up divine right. And I think going for military engineering should be enough of a delay to make it so that lines up nicely for me. Taking a look at what tiles this city is working. We're working some pretty medium food tiles. I really would like it if the city would grow to this tile right here. It's probably not going to happen, so I would don't want to spend the 150 gold though. So what I might do with this builder is pop a farm down here and then swap this farm to Alessand so that it has four growth tiles, which will give it an extra housing and it'll allow it to grow slightly taller if I just kind of refresh there. Excuse me, why aren't you able to grow taller? Did I misunderstand what is necessary? Should be one, two, hmm. Maybe it needs to update in between turns. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea to get a harbor and a barracks in here. Now the order, I'm not sure about. I could also pop down an industrial zone if I'm looking to get a bunch of production. Now if I'm doing the industrial zone, I'm gonna wanna place a aqueduct to try and get value out of that and turn this into a late game production powerhouse which means i'm probably going to want to just save production until i can chop a few tiles out here another horseman finished in frankfurt let's get them moving settler is almost in position for this final city over here gonna pillage this stone over here for the faith and the culture now there's a bit of an issue here if i step this unit out it'll be seven turns so i'm going to step this unit into this position take a shot at this crossbowman Kill it with this Viking Berserker. That'll get me a two error score for being near the Great General when that happened. 
Then I'm going to shoot Abydos twice with these crossbowmen to get a bit of experience. Now, who's ready for a level up? This swordsman is ready for a level up, so I'm going to use him to conquer the city. And that will get him a bit of experience and, yep, net him a level. I'm also going to keep this city. It's 50 grievances, which hurts because that's going to upset the rest of the world. But I think at this point, I've already pissed off the world to the point where it's like just impossible to do anything. And like usual, we'll get to work on just doing some basic repairs on things that matter. Granary and monuments are important. And we'll come back to the city when more stuff needs to happen. Take a moment to just heal up on some of the units that need it. And then I think we're going to swing west to take out Thebes so that we can kind of isolate Rakadeth from its, uh, you know, supply of cities and stuff like that. I think settler production is done, so I can take that out. I could pop back in urban planning, which would net me quite a bit of production. I'm not really sure what else I could plug in that would be of high value. I can always just pop in professional army when I need to do upgrades, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to hold urban planning for now because that's worth, you know, one production per city, which isn't much like in the grand scheme of things, but across an entire empire, it's like pretty valuable. Let's just pop forward and see. Okay, there's no garrison in Rakadet, so that's a good thing. Chop here, get that harbor one turn sooner, or rather in one turn, and we'll put a farm there next turn. I don't want to buy tiles if I can avoid it, so I'm going to be kind of avoiding doing that and trying to pick up harbors for trade routes and stuff. These poor Viking longboats are potentially ready now to head towards the enemy. Knowledge of cartography is advanced considerably brilliant. I heard a city-state declare war on me and I just want to make sure it's a city state, maybe not a city-state that I care about. The Kumasi and Cardiff declared war on me and those are two city-states I just don't care about, so that's fine. Right, in Bergen it is time to pop down a lighthouse because we want the trade route. We'll pop a farm down there. This guy will go here and place a lumber mill. The city is starting to look really good on the production front. It's up to 20 production per turn. I think I'd like to get a little bit more in here in terms of production and food, but it's starting to look great. Right, we're moving our army over towards Thebes so we can get that taken out pretty quick. Now, it looks like they're starting on walls, so I'm hoping to hit this before the walls become a problem. We got a promotion on this guy. I'm going to take the Battle Cry promotion because it's a much more flexible promotion. I'm using this horseman to run around and just do some pillaging down here. In fact, I'm going to do the same thing with this horseman. Um, we might even be able to just take this city with these two guys um, if we can get like a full surround. Although I'd need four units to get a full surround. Okay, I need to plug in the gold upgrading card to get this uh, chariot to turn into a knight, but we're almost there. I'm going to put my money into making it cheaper to produce units with production because then I could start pumping out units. I don't know if that's going to work, but I'll give it a go. Oh, okay, so you can build units twice as fast now. Now that is an interesting idea. What that means is I should really just get to work on creating like an absolutely ridiculous army. Yeah, just going to start like producing knights en masse. Although I would like to get that lighthouse. Let's get the lighthouse. It's worth growth. It's worth housing and like it's also worth a trade route. So I think that's I think think trade routes are pretty important right now. Alessand on the other hand is more of a sort of late game uh, city that I'm trying to build up for future production. So I'm going to get to work on the barracks in here for now. All right, Kumasi is going to kill my builder. I could take Suzeranity away, which would neutralize and give me error score. So I'll do that. Now we have another Golden Age. Beautiful. I'll put a mine down there. We're down to 18 turns on the Terracotta army. I would like to maybe get a lumber mill there. And that would truly have the city ready to pump out things. Okay, let's pillage another trade route with this guy. 156 gold. Very nice. All right, pillaging over here. I want to get a pillage on there as well. And I'm actually going to get this great general to run over and support these units rather than focus on those horsemen. First things first is to get units up and in the face of the city. I'm going to wait until this catapult is finished before I chop in here. Okay, Thebes has finished a quadrireme and we need to take out this crossbowman. And I will oblige this crossbowman in its death. The quadrireme is a bit of a problem, but we can get a near full surround on the water here in a second. All right, let's kill this crossbowman, even if it opens up this guy to a shot from the city. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ, I didn't see what was in the fog of war. That is pretty painful. Well, uh, yeah, all right, let's just run away. Now, Cahokia would be worth 14 gold per turn to trade. But I think, like I said, I'm going to transfer this to Utica and see if I can get a better trade route from there. We'll settle down Stavanagar. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And we'll move this horseman over to support Utica as well. Finish up an encampment in the capital city so we can start pumping out units and stuff like that. All right, Aachen built a catapult. Let's get our hands on another catapult and then we'll do the old chop chop. Bump bump. 
And now we got two catapults in a single turn, which is fantastic. Let's keep making catapults because having pre-built siege units is like a really big deal once you get like Niter and into bombards. Oh, looks like uh, Dido wants to settle a city around here, which I'm actually kind of okay with because that means I have another city that I can use as a staging area. Kind of just found this. I kind of just, I, I just set my horsemen into the fog of war. Like, ah, oh, I wonder if they've got a unit down here. And I just magically found the, the settler. Amazing. Okay, somehow the swordsman survived, which thank goodness for that. Because that was uh, pretty scary there for a second. Let's see if we can't get a Viking longship in to get a hit on the city. Now we can step forward and shoot on these crossbowmen, which is what I want to do. Because they have three movement. Let's step forward onto this hill. Step forward onto this marsh. You can shoot over this hill. Let's get you around here because I want you to surround the city. We'll use these two guys to shoot this crossbowman. Oh, I can't get a shot from this tile. That's fine. We'll just have to deal with getting some damage in on him here. But we got rid of this crossbowman at the very least. Pop you into the city for a heal. And you're going to go ahead and pillage another district for me to hurt this city a bit. Our barracks is finished in Cologne. Again, I don't know if I want stave churches. Like, they're pretty good. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not really working any, like, coastal tiles or anything. This city is pretty crap in terms of production. I think I'm just going to slowly build a builder in here. I mean, I guess, I, you know, you could make an argument that I would be worth it to maybe build some units. Like, I guess I could use a pikeman or two. I'm going to attack the city with my berserker to do a whole chunk of damage to it. Nice. Pop a mine down here for Akin to give it another productive tile. Looking pretty good in Akin. I would maybe want to improve that olive. That would be like the last thing that I do. All right, looks like the swordsman ran away once it saw my horseman. I'm going to kind of just pull my units back and wait and see if they settle over here. Apparently Utica can't trade with any of my cities. Wait, what? I, I guess maybe it was like the settings I had it on. Yeah, okay. No, no, it, it can trade with my cities. I'm going to trade with Bergen. No, I'm going to trade with Bjarkoi. No, I'm going to trade with Aachen. Yeah, if I trade with Aachen, I get like the most food and production, which is going to help this city out the most. All right, Viking Longship in position to pillage another district. Thank you. I'm just kind of popping in here and stealing money every now and again. Feels pretty good, man. All right, Armory is finished. We've got the Military Engineer and Niter unlocked. Let's do a search for Niter. So apparently somebody told me if you search for Niter and Norway, you can very easily find the things that you... Uh, have inside your territory now unfortunately this niter is on a pillaged district which means we're going to have to improve an entertainment complex or sort of repair it in order to get it back online but we should start getting access to niter i don't see any other let's have a look and see if there's any just nearby okay there's plenty nearby we've got a chunk over here we've got a chunk over here uh ideally this builder we would get another builder but i have a builder on the way somewhere i swear no i don't actually so i'm gonna need to grab myself some more builders to get this niter online because if i can have a lot of in fact wow i really hit the niter i've got at least four copies in my empire i five copies maybe six okay yeah, that's really really good we're gonna be able to push hard for uh frigates uh probably we'll be purchasing frigates at a side on or something like that depends what this terrain over here looks like let's go ahead and pillage ourselves another chunk of this district and we'll just kind of pop in that way and then back out now that we have military engineering let's get to work on castles because by the time we research castles we will have divine right which will boost castles okay so let's get this swordsman moving to the left this way the city is under siege and we'll pull this viking longship out to heal in the water and then we'll bring this viking longship in to do some damage and maintain the siege now i want to take this crossbowman out but ideally i want to do it with somebody who doesn't have a promotion and who doesn't have a promotion ready so i'm going to go ahead and take the arrow storm promotion on you you have a promotion um ideally i would have taken incendiaries but i'll take arrow storm and uh, now we can do quite a bit of damage here. And we can take the city. Brilliant. The city belongs to me. I didn't really get a chance to pillage it like I had hoped. But we get to keep Thebes. Time for this horseman to just run away to a relatively safe distance to heal up. We got what we wanted out of Eowyn. We pillaged a whole bunch of stuff. All right, let's get to repairing the monument in here. All right, let's pop this crossbowman up onto the hill to shoot this guy. I accidentally mismoved this crossbowman. I had meant to move it to here, but kind of messed that up. Take a moment to move forward a bit on this berserker step to there and then take the tortoise promotion it's very important you get the tortoise promotion on your berserkers because they're already pretty vulnerable to being attacked garrison on this crossbowman might have been a mistake to get garrison when there's stuff to shoot but i think it's a good idea just to get promotions and then we can start chipping away at rack of death maybe when we get another berserker. It's going to be a long process to bring down this capital, but I think we can do it. Encampment finished in the capital. Let's go ahead and grab the granary because the city's almost at its growth limit and I want it to keep growing and working new tiles. Kind of running out of tiles, actually, if you think about it. 
Might want a lumber mill there. I guess this is just the place where I build builders. Because <laughs> I just, I need builders to get this niter online. All right, we've got a courser here. That is a scary unit. I think I'm just going to fortify up and hope he doesn't really mess with me while I get my own coursers. Chop in here to finish the barracks. Then we get to work on the aqueduct because our plan is to put a industrial zone right here. The Renegade Mines will only get me like a little bit of extra adjacency on it. But more importantly, it'll give Alison a whole bunch of production uh, by chopping these and then actually having mine tiles to work. All right, Nubia wants to buy my salt. I will accept their generous offer. Yeah, like I was worried about there, my Berserker just took a lot of hits. So I'm going to get him to just fall back to where he belongs and we'll slowly work on taking out these crossbowmen. There's a crossbowman inside the city, so I need to try and entice them out and wait until I have slightly stronger units to batter down. Now this is only ancient walls, so I could grab a battering ram. I could purchase a battering ram or a siege tower rather, and then I could maybe knock down these walls with a little bit more ease with my swordsmen and stuff like that. I think I like that idea, so that's what we're gonna do. Now we unlocked monarchy as a government type, which is Pretty much a straight upgrade, so we'll pop that in. Now we get to plug in Praetorium if we need it, because we have a diplomatic policy slot. For now, I'll just put in Charismatic Leader. Chivalry would be nice to be able to build knights faster. That's pretty much all I care government-wise, right? No, I want to plug in Professional Army as well. Yeah, let's focus, let's pull out, uh, let's pull out Feudal Contract, plug in Professional Army, just so we could do a few upgrades, because in particular, this catapult here, for example, needs to be upgraded. I'd also like to buy myself like I was just talking about, a um, battering ram. I'm going to buy it in Thebes. Sorry, a siege tower. It's 200 gold. Excellent. One of the side effects of making units 50% cost, like if you look here, this is normally 160 production. It also makes them 50% cheaper. See here, units are very, very cheap to build. All right, now that we have divine right, probably the next move is to pick up diplomatic service so that we can have spy projects running, which gives us diplomatic visibility. Cardiff hates me, so let's not, let's not tangle with them. Crossbowman coming out of the woodwork to cause me some trouble. Let's go ahead and see if we can just get rid of him. Plus, it's an opportunity to pick up a bit of free experience. I'm not dealing with Geneva. I'll probably deal with that last. I kind of want to try to hit the cities that don't have protection. All right, let's upgrade this chariot to a knight. That'll give me some power on the field. We can get this kill here. Let's pop this horseman forward to check. The city has no garrison, which is exactly what we want. Probably going to approach it in the next turn or two. Let's get units lined up for that end. Chop right here, this will finish the aqueduct. Just about finish it, right? Yeah, just about finish the aqueduct and then we can put a mine down here. And uh, once we are ready with that, we'll be placing down the industrial zone as well. Sorry, I meant to say I'm placing down the industrial zone, not placing a mine, but I want to put another mine around it, which m my gold income is pretty tight at the moment, so we might hold off on that. But this aqueduct is going to provide this industrial zone that we build with extra production adjacency, which will allow me to turn this city into a bit of a production powerhouse. Now, the tiles it's working. The problem is the tiles it's working aren't great at the moment. So the city just needs a, like a little bit of development time to get some stuff online. But it's starting to look pretty good. Military emergency because I captured Memphis. I'll vote it down once and hope people vote it down. Looks like most people, or at least Dido and Cleopatra voted it up. So that means they... I have minus two combat strength when fighting members and they get plus one movement against me. That's unfortunate. So I'm a little bit weaker than I was. But I'm going to get started on the full on approach this turn anyway to begin the war against Egypt to take down the city. Right, we need more traders in the capital. We definitely need more gold. I'd like to trade with Cahokia again, just to get that 14 gold per turn. Aqueduct done in here, pop down the industrial zone. You could make an argument for doing the armory first, but this industrial zone, I believe, is worth at least three to four production. And just for the sake of helping the city improve a bit, I'm gonna buy this tile and chop it. Spearmen coming over here to cause me a few issues. Let's just get rid of those. Take a shot at the city. We're not doing a huge amount of damage to the city, but we are slowly chipping away. We've done already 20 damage to it. And we'll have a siege tower in range of it next turn to do some serious damage with this swordsman. Knowledge of a rifling has advanced and we got our very first copy of Niter Online properly. Soon we'll have a second copy once this entertainment district is done, but we should start accumulating niter that we can put towards musketmen as well as bombards and frigates. Damn, so he got a crossbowman into the city, which meant he was able to do a little bit of extra damage to me. Kind of unfortunate. Anyway, let's get the siege tower up and get some more units on the sort of face of the city. I'll move you one tile to the left so that I can get a knight maybe. Can I kill this crossbowman this turn? Yeah, I can. So I got rid of that crossbowman. I'd like to pillage this tile if I could. Let's go ahead and batter down this city's uh, 
combat strength a little bit by doing some damage to it. That'll lower its combat strength by one, which means my archers will do a bit more damage to it. Start chipping away at the walls. Okay, walls are chipped. City combat strength is down. I'm going to hold off on a direct attack for now until I have my knight ready to hit. Now that we have coursers, I'm going to want to upgrade my horsemen if I can. And actually, speaking of which, over here, this guy got hit pretty hard by some coursers, but he did survive, so that's good news. I'm going to take the courser promotion on this guy. And we're going to start shooting some of these in a moment. There we go. And we'll stay fortified. I think I'll also take the courser promotion on him. I just want to have more units that have power. Something to be said of getting the shipyard and the bank and all that sort of stuff. But I think we're going to go ahead and head towards um, gunpowder and stuff like that. Although I'd like to build an armory first. It might be worth it to head towards cartography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting the extra gold from the fishing boat improvements will help me build units. It also means I'm going to need builders to actually get some more fishing boats online. So let's go ahead and focus on that a little bit. Chop right here. That'll take this down to three turns on this industrial zone. And then I'll put a mine here and give the city a great tile to work. Looks like the harbor over here has been repaired. So I can just swoop back in to start pillaging. Like catastrophic eruption. Yowzers. Hurt Barkoy a little bit. Didn't really hurt my catapults in the area now unfortunately they did get a courser past my defenses up here and do some damage to me they've also got knights and stuff like that but this crossbowman's almost ready to level up and i'm gonna just back up and play defensively with this city not gonna be really aggressive just gonna look for kills where i can get them like for example i'm pretty sure i can get this guy there we go oh, not quite i'd have to attack and i think attacking is okay let's get into a defensive position behind the city Oh, sweet. So we got a golden age. Now we have a lot of faith. We could do a lot with monumentality if we picked it up. We could also do a lot with reform the coinage and we could do a lot with Hicks on Dracones. I think I'm going to go for monumentality here because I'm just pillaging so much faith. And what this means is I don't actually have to build my builders anymore. I can just get them where and when I need them because I have so much faith from pillaging. Now this crossbowman took a lot of hits. So I think I'm going to back him up one tile, take the promotion and then slowly heal up. Let's pop this knight forward. I don't have enough movement points to pillage, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and pillage the farm for health on this berserker. Because I don't want him to die. And we'll just shoot the city a little bit to slowly bring down its health. We'll bring this horseman around the back of the city to get control of this tile so that we can put it under siege. Now the Berserker is going to pillage and then attack because if you, if you look there, he's doing significant amounts of damage to the city, which is exactly what we want. Let's faith purchase ourselves a builder in Cologne. I see some opportunities for um, farm triangles and lumber mills and all that sort of stuff. So I'll faith purchase a builder in here. Trying to just keep an eye out where I see stuff that's unimproved and a builder is needed. That's where I'm going to be purchasing a builder like Stavanagar could definitely use a builder. Right, there you go. Utica could, re could, Utica could really use a builder, but it's kind of on the front line and in a dangerous spot. So I'm going to kind of skip that one. Hamar could use a builder. Pop a mine down there while we look around. Yeah, Christian Sand definitely needs a builder. It's got a lot of unimproved tiles. So let's do that. We'll grab the builder. Capital City could use a builder as well. And then we'll just have a whole bunch of builder charges to be able to run around and spread and stuff like that. I'm also going to take a moment here to purchase some traders in my capital. Um, because I need to fill these trade routes out. Get to work in an aqueduct in Bergen and then start chopping out some of these plantations and stuff. Sorry, not plantations. I meant to say bananas. <laughs> bananas and rainforest. Now, I was going for cartography because I plan to build an armory somewhere, but I would really like to get to metal casting as soon as possible. I think it's more efficient if I just delay slightly, though. It's more efficient in the long run. All right, looks like this has been fully rebuilt. Let's go ahead and pillage it back down for the extra gold. And now I have enough cash to do a purchase that I wanted to do over in Bergen. Because you know what? Just for the hell of it, I'm going to build the Huey probably right after that aqueduct. No, Ooh, my poor little guy. Damn it. My Berserker got murdered. It's okay, he did his job. He did a lot of damage to the city and now we've got the city surrounded. We can start bringing in more swordsmen and stuff like that. It's okay if I lose a unit here and there. I'm not gonna cry about it. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sad about it. Like, it kind of sucks that you, when you lose a unit um, because, you know, you invested a lot into them. But units are cheap. I can I can replace them at, at this point pretty easily. All right, we're gonna trade with Cahokia to get extra gold per turn. We're also going to trade with Kumasi, and over time, this trade route should grow in value. Now, in the capital, I'm going to work on a barracks and an armory. How long is left in this era? 20 turns. 20 turns doesn't leave a whole lot of time for building units if I go for the barracks and armory. is a bit of a problem. And I do need more units. I'm going to get... Um, I'm going to get some coursers, yeah. I like that idea. Especially since I have the chivalry card plugged in. All right, we've got a quadrireme problem over here. Let's go ahead and take him out. 
I've also got a little bit of a Byrene problem over here, so I think I'm gonna run away. I think he I think uh, Dido got wise of my like little run away, wait till they repair it, and then pillaging strategy. But you know, fair play to the AI for realizing that I, what I was doing. Uh, it's harvested bananas. The city is now nine population. Excellent. So it's very highly popped. It's gonna be a very productive city when it's, it's when it's fully finished. I actually would like to get a district in here, and it is an industrial zone. Again, this is going to be sort of a late game city where I plan to produce like aircraft and stuff like that if I need it. Run over here, build a lumber mill in the capital. Oddly, why aren't you working that tile? Oh, because I have you on food focus. That's a complete mistake. That was like a total error. No wonder. <laughs> uh, I had it on food focus earlier because it did make sense, you know, once, once upon a time ago uh, or, or a while ago at least. Um, but now it makes sense to be more sort of manually managed. I do want to work these. I want to work that. I want to work this so i think i can leave one of these crabs on the table yeah this is looking pretty reasonable in terms of tiles up to 25 production per turn excellent all right lumber mill bam extra two production for you all right we got a lot of knights coming in here um it's a bit of a problem city is well defended in terms of combat strength but i'm gonna just hold position these knights shouldn't be able to kill me in a single turn and I'm going to be able to do some significant damage to them with my units stationed in this district. Now, I could go for emplacement to get expert marks in, but I'm going to go for volley maybe so that I can do more damage. I mean, if I go for emplacement, I get expert marksman. But if I go down here, I don't get it for much longer. Yeah, let's take emplacement. I think it's a better move. Lumber mill here for Stavanger. All right, so my poor horsey boy over here took quite a hefty hit from racket death. But now I think we're up to the point where we can start to really... Uh, strip defense away from the city and start hitting it with our mainline units. This is a major defeat, but it would do a significant amount of damage. Let's pop you back here. And just get somewhere safe where you can heal up. Industrial zone finished in Alessand. Let's get to work on the armory. It's pretty important that we get that online. We're also going to pop another farm down here for this city. Now, in terms of what this city is working, I'm going to tell it to focus on food and production so that it just avoids working these lake tiles. Like, they're nice, but it's spending way too much of its time on them. Okay, so we've got plenty of room to grow, and that's why I'm focusing on food. And my hope is that by focusing on food, the city will grow really, really big, get a lot of production, and be very valuable to me. Nice, we finished uh, accumulating the... Or, or we finished repairing the entertainment district. Would be maybe a good idea to get an, uh, uh, an arena to bring up the happiness here. But we're also in an era where building cavalry is really cheap. So let's just keep pumping those out. Pretty close to picking up the Terracotta army as well. I'm going to send this knight down to support. Having a bit of trouble here with um, these enemy units coming for me. But let's just see what we can do damage wise. Maybe we can kill one. Maybe I could kill this guy. But let me just double check. This unit shouldn't be able to kill me in theory. Yeah, I'm in a defensive position with support bonuses. So I think I'll be fine. Let's see if we can't get a kill on this knight. Nice, so we got that kill. Great. I could attack with these units, but I don't think it would be worth it. Let's get our Berserker over in the right direction. Harvest right there. Chop right here. Aqueduct is almost done. Pop down another lumber mill for Christian Sand. And improve this fishing boat to get me a little bit more gold once I research uh, cartography. Damn, I lost that crossbowman. I was hoping not to lose a crossbowman there. But it's okay. We can replace them. They're not like super highly upgraded. They're just kind of like basic crossbowmen. Although... This guy actually needs to die, like, really badly. Um, we're going to pop this catapult forward, take a shot at the city. That'll get rid of the rest of the walls, so we're dealing with less um, damage on the board, quote-unquote, uh, you know, as a, as a figure of speech. Let's kill this crossbowman. We'll cross the river with this guy. Move this guy to here. Bring this swordsman to here. So the city is surrounded and under siege. And now we could take a moment here to maybe do a little bit of pillaging in it or something. Um, this thing needs to be pillaged this tile this commercial hub needs to be pillaged because i need that gold i still haven't plugged in the raid card which is probably dumb of me but it's whatever <laughs> it's whatever dude i'm gonna say focus on food and production in here those are your two main focuses i will manually lock in some tiles you'll take a while to grow you could do with some housing i also need you to build me these districts and i think Grandmaster's Chapel is pretty nice because it allows you to buy land units with faith and it also allows you to pillage uh, and get faith from pillaging. Now, we already get quite good pillaging stuff, so it's kind of like a toss-up between if I want Intelligence Agency for the spy power or if I want Grandmaster's Chapel for the extra faith. I think I'm going to take the faith because being able to convert my faith into units is pretty good, especially if I'm conquering anyone with holy sites and stuff like that. <laughs> I've also got a little courser over here caused me some uh, issues in Bjarkoi. I mean, really all it means is that I get some experience on my catapults. All right, this poor little courser here has taken on 
awful lot of damage. I'm going to get him to run away, and then I'm going to bring the knight in to take over his spot while the city and the crossbowman takes him out. Chop right here. That'll finish Frankfurt. Also open up another farm triangle potential. Finish off this farm triangle over in Cologne. It's almost done with its pikemen. I definitely want to get lumber mills up on these two tiles next. Just wanted to get this farm triangle up as well so the city could continue to grow. Pop a mine right there for this city. This city is looking amazing. Uh, but it is going to need another builder. Oh goodness, run away. Oh god, everything hates me. <laughs> All right, we got a knight over here in Christian Sand. Let's get him moving up to the front line. Pop the catapult to the left. Pop this catapult forward. Let's do some damage. City has been hit. Let's start popping off. I don't know if I actually need to re uh, capture that or conquer it, rather. Let's get this guy right here. He'll do the bulk of the damage. We'll finish the city off with this kill. Bada bing, bada boom. Rack of death is mine. We'll keep this city. We've got a lot of grievances. How many cities you got left, Egypt? That's the question I need to ask. Right, they've got what looks like two cities left. Um, Akhetaten and Iwin. And I think I might do this sneaky thing where I... Just leave Egypt on a single city so they can stay mad at me. However, it's worth Era score to murder someone completely. And I also want to liberate Geneva on my way back. So we'll see what exactly the plan is. I want to kill this knight if I can too. Let's go ahead and just shoot and chop and kill him right now. There we go. I'll tell you what though, we've been going for about an hour now in terms of recording. So I'm going to call that the end of the episode. We've made some great progress. It was a lot of work to get Rack of Death, right? But that was a difficult position that we were in. We are, in terms of science, we're pretty on top of our game right now. Now we're not top science but we're second or third in terms of tech research or tech output and uh, total tech generated which means we're in a really good position to at least have parity with the ai and then start knocking them down right we're going to be wanting to start building armies but i'm going to call that the end of this episode i love you all very very much i hope you guys are really enjoying this series i'm having a great time playing norway when i normally hate norway with everything in my fibrous being all right i love you all very much and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye